Welcome to this Palms demonstration video all about water treatment. Some of the activities for you to try from this video will need some adult help. The fresh water that we use every day can come from a few different places. It might come from rain and runoff from the land that is collected in a big dam. It could also come from a natural underground source called an aquifer. Sometimes we even take the salt out of seawater to make fresh water using a desalination process. Before the water gets to our taps for us to use, there's lots of treatments that happen to the water to make it safe for us to drink and use for other things. We're going to look at a few of those treatments today, settling, decanting and filtering. Before we get started, let's take a look at something that you might see around home. You might have one of these water filter jugs for your drinking water. Have you ever wondered what might be inside that filter? If you carefully cut one of the filters open, you'll find a lot of black stuff inside. This is called activated carbon, and this, along with some other materials in there, help to filter a lot of things out of the water that you don't want to drink. Let's get started on our three simple ways to treat water. These treatments are very simple and won't clean the water enough for it to be safe to drink. Even if the water looks clean, it may still have germs in it, so you must not drink it. First, we're going to try settling and decanting. We're going to make some murky water, wait for some of the solids in it to settle to the bottom, then pour the cleaner water carefully from the top. This technique can be used for water drawn from wells and also maybe from lakes. To try settling and decanting, you're going to need the following equipment. A small bottle with a screw top, some soil, a container to decant into, a spoon, a funnel, some water, and you might also like to use some white paper. We're going to show you using two different kinds of soil, but you don't have to do two, just one is fine. First of all, use the funnel to help you add approximately two teaspoons of soil into the bottle. The bottles that we are using are about 100 mils. Carefully pour water into the bottle until it's about half full. Screw the lid on firmly and give it a really good shake for 30 seconds. Make sure that all of the soil gets really wet. Now leave the bottles to settle for at least 5 minutes. We've done a time lapse video to show you what happens as the solids settle to the bottom. After at least 5 minutes, very carefully and slowly pour off the cleanest water from the top. Try and stop pouring when the water starts to get darker in colour and you can see that there are more solids there. Pouring the water off like this is called decanting. Whilst the water doesn't look that clean, it's definitely much cleaner than when we started. The longer you leave the bottles to settle, the cleaner that the water you decant off will be. Next, we're going to treat the water by sand filtering. This is as simple as it sounds and means that we're going to filter the water through some sand. To try the sand filtering technique, you're going to need the following equipment. A clean plastic bottle, like a soft drink or a water bottle. Ours is 1.25 litres, but any size will do. You'll also need enough clean sand to fill the bottle about one third full. You'd also need a container to sit the bottle in upright to collect the water that filters through. Another thing you'll need is a drawing pin or dressmaking pin to make small holes in the bottle. You'll also need some scissors or a serrated knife, a marker, some tape and some dirty water to filter. We've added some soil to tap water in a jar and shaken it up to make dirty water. You'll definitely need some adult help to get the bottle prepared. First of all, draw a line around the bottle about one third of the way down from the top. Carefully cut along this line with a knife or the scissors and place some tape along the cut edge for safety. You don't need the top of the bottle so you can discard it, although it is useful to use as a funnel for other things. Next you're going to put some holes in the bottom of the bottle to make sure that the water can drain through that you've filtered. You only need about 5 to 10 holes and they need to be quite small so only the water comes through and not the sand. Once 
Place the bottle in the container and fill approximately one third full with the clean sand. Pour some of the dirty water into the top and then watch the clean water filter out. The sand has definitely made a difference to the dirty water and it is much cleaner after it is filtered through the sand. The final water treatment we're going to try is filtering with paper and we also try it with some cloth. Filtering with paper is something you might usually expect to see in a laboratory but you can also use paper to filter your coffee. For our final water treatment, you're going to need the following equipment. For the filters, we're going to use some paper towel, a paper coffee filter, some filter paper that you might find in a laboratory, and we're also going to try using a cloth, like a chucks cloth. You're going to need some funnels, some cups or containers to collect the filtered water, and also some dirty water to test. As before, we've added some soil to water in a jar and given it a really good shake. We're going to try the paper towel first. Push two sheets of paper towel into the funnel which is sitting in your cup. Carefully pour the dirty water into the paper towel. You might need to hold the paper towel as it can slip down. The water moves through quite quickly. Next, try the coffee filter. Open it up and push it into the funnel. And then, very carefully, pour in the dirty water. Again, you might need to hold the paper as it can slip in the funnel. If you are able to get a filter paper, it first needs to be folded before you put it into the funnel. Fold it in half and then in half again and open it up into a cone before putting it into the funnel. Again, pour in the dirty water. You might notice that this one takes a lot longer to filter than the others have. The first trial we did with the chucks cloth, we opened out the cloth so there was just a double layer of cloth. We found this didn't work very well so we tried again. For the second trial, we left the cloth folded as it was in the packet, so it had eight layers of cloth in total. This worked a little bit better. As you can see from our after photo, we had quite varied results in how much dirt the different papers and cloth removed from the dirty water. The filter paper definitely cleaned the water the most, but it was much slower to filter than the others. What other papers or cloths can you find around home that we might be able to use as filters? Now that you've tried a few different ways to treat water, you could find out a little bit more about which type of treatment gives the cleanest water. Also, find out which type of treatment is the fastest. What other materials could you possibly use as filters? You could also find out some more about desalination plants and find out where your local water comes from. What wastewater in your house could be filtered and used on the garden perhaps? And also, do you know how you can keep the natural waterways clean around your area? Thanks for watching this Palms demonstration video. For more fun, hands-on, engaging earth science activities, check out our website, palms.edu.au.